Hey YouTube, it is Easy Prepper 101. Today we're continuing with the What If series of the next step is solar panels. As you can see here, this is my Harbor Freight solar panels that I have. Um, one thing I'm going to talk about this video is I'm not going to get too in depth about the solar panels. I'm going to put um, a box above, maybe in the right or left hand corner of the playlist I have of the unboxing, installing, and kind of showing what we have done with these solar panels, which I've kind of already done a test, but so make sure you click on that. The one thing I do want to talk about, about the solar panels, and just to give you an update that we are now going into our third season with these panels, and right now they are working good. And as you can see, the very far left panel, you can see my dog. That is Latte, who is uh, making a cameo right now, which I think is just kind of cute. My dogs love being outside. Uh, but sidetrack from that, um, we're going into our third season of having these panels up and we're going to be using them. Uh, the last two seasons, we have not had any issues with the solar panels being outside and not having to worry about any damage from the freezing rain, ice storms, or any or sticks hitting it. So uh, knock on wood, um, we haven't had any issues with the solar panels and they're working good. Uh, the one issue we did have with the solar panels was when we had a animal um, eat the wire. So we're just gonna kinda take you over to that. As you can see here, I had to put this PVC pipe because when I installed it, I didn't put it in the ground like I wanted to. And as you can see in the right hand corner, um, that's where the critter was coming in and chewed a hole. So that's why I have the PVC here. Um, we're gonna be, hopefully this, uh, this spring, we're gonna uh, hopefully bury it in the ground. And so we don't have to have the PVC here, but it's not that big of a deal. So now we're gonna go over to our box kind of show you what we kind of have in there but also kind of give you some more insight of what we have all right guys this is our box that we have that we you can use for sit on but we kind of disguise of what we have keeping our battery and our inverter out of the elements and um, this has been good since we've had this it's going like I said on its third season so we're going to open this up here for you and we'll move the camera to kind of see we're getting a 13.8 volt for charging which is very good and then we have our regulator there that kind of shows that we are charging we're not at high capacity or we're not at low so the one thing we have we keep this plugged in and charged all the time um knock on wood with the winters we've had in ohio we do have some kind of nasty weather a lot of snow freezing rain and i don't wrap this up in any plastic or tarps or anything um that's just more for me testing to make sure and everything has fine i leave everything in here i leave my inverter in here which is a good thing to have because it has uh two acs so if you need to charge your laptop or or you can run a long extension cord into a microwave this is what it's good for to do now refrigerator i wouldn't recommend leaving this plugged in for the refrigerator because um this might fry so you're definitely going to want to check the um, options or check the read the instructions on see how much volts it needs compared for this i'm going to be um, upgrading this to get a, a more powerful one so if i have to run the refrigerator i can but that's why i have the generator and the one good thing about uh, the um, this inverter and a lot of inverters is they're adding the usb right there so you can plug a cell phone in at the same time um, the one thing which is great and we're going to scroll back up here and we'll zoom in is you have two USB, so you can plug your cell phone in, cell phones in, or tablets and charge during the daytime, which would probably be the best preferred method. So you're not draining your battery at nighttime. Because the one thing we do do, and it's always plugged in, is when we come back down, is we have the light that this light's always in here if we ever need to use it. As you can see, the light still works, so we leave that plugged in, and that's why you have the two spots where you can plug in more lights. And Right now, we're going on its third, se third season, like I said, and everything is working good. The battery is good. Um, I've tried the transfer pump to make sure everything is working, the inverter is working, the battery is working. So everything is good. So we are ready to go for this season of the garden. Now, the biggest thing you're going to want to do is make sure that figure out if you're going to go with the solar panel route, you need to figure out what you're going to be using this stuff for. For me and my wife, we're using the solar panel and the kit for charging cell phones and tablets 
and if we have to we can use your microwave if not that's why we have the generator so you need to figure out what you're going to be using the solar kit for and making those plans if this is what we're going to use this for we're going to use the generator for this or whatever you might are going to use because that's going to help you plan your situation that no matter what season that you're in you know for us it's you know we have tornadoes we have snow we have hail and, you know if you're in florida hurricanes loss of power uh earthquakes if you're in california I mean, there's so many things, you know, any natural disaster, you need to figure out what you want to use the solar panels for to try to help you. Um, so having something like this is definitely a good thing to have. If you're going to be using the solar kit for in, in an instance, like maybe what happened in Texas with that big snowstorm that happened a month or two ago, because it's right now April, this I think it happened at the uh, beginning of March of 2021 you're gonna to wanna to make sure they get a better inverter so to use a electric heater for. So if that's what you're gonna use, the solar you know, solar panel and kit, then you wanna make sure you get a good enough inverter, make sure you read all the instructions of the inverter versus the heater that you have to make sure that you're also not going to damage your inverter and your solar kit. So you wanna make sure that you do a lot of research of looking into it. And if you are not sure about this, and if you have a friend who's possibly an electrician or a neighbor who, you know, it's kind of knowledgeable, talk to them and see if you're going to be able to run it. So always make sure, you know, double and triple check to make sure because you don't want to be using this and then starting a fire. So kind of keep that in mind. But that's going to be it for the video. I'm going to wrap this up. Like I said at the beginning, you know, I'll have um, in the box somewhere, maybe in the top right or left of the playlist that we have for the solar panels. You can kind of get a more in-depth of unboxing and kind of what you're going to be able to use. So hopefully you guys uh, like this second video in this series. We have a lot more videos coming. Um, keep the comments coming. I really appreciate them. Hit that thumbs up if you like this video. And if you haven't, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you guys so much. And we will catch you guys down the road.